Hey guys, welcome to Gardening for Life channel. This is a new channel that we have set up to talk about organic gardening practices that we have been employing in our little plot of land here in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, my wife, me and my cat, we have been living in Kenya for three years now and we have been doing a lot of, enjoying a lot of organic gardening here and trying to maximize as well what we can grow in a small piece of land using organic practices um, and to really talk with the YouTube community about what has been working well, what has not worked well and to go from there. Thanks a lot guys, so let's get going. So I think for the first video we'll just take a walk around our garden and see what's growing and in the future videos we'll get into the deeper topics around uh, composting, seed saving, uh, deep watering and other issues as well. And please do uh, put in the comment section if you want to have a discussion around specific topics and I will definitely post a video around that as well. And hopefully you can hit the like and subscribe button the plot it's a 10 by 8 or 10 by 9 feet uh, vegetable plot which we have gone for polyculture vegetable system ensuring that we have a wide variety of vegetables growing here within the plot including several of the spices and flowers as well and that links closely to our pest control system that we use that's my cat Carl he is an avid gardener and he loves the lemongrass as well. So next to our plot we do have a boundary wall with our neighbor that we have been using also for some gardening as well, growing some uh, of the spices including the coriander as well as the chili, the lemongrass and we have some of the climbers that do extremely well using the wall uh, including the pumpkins. Uh, lately we've been experimenting growing with some maize as well and next to the maize are the cassava plants as well which do quite well in our soil and temperature here and my wife uses it quite a bit for cooking the cassava leaves so behind our vegetable plot in the southern boundary wall what we have done is essentially blocked off the corner to ensure that the car doesn't run into the neighbors with some of the succulents and large leaf vegetables and um, wild plants and behind this nice big tree we have set up a compost pile it's a standard three by three pile which we use the aerobic hot composting method works extremely well uh, we tend to get a lot of soil out of it on a regular basis and we tend to keep it maintained with a lot of browns and greens and we'll get into a in a future video we'll definitely talk a lot about how to go about composting in a sustainable manner ensuring minimum waste of food as well at the household level um, this is just the view of the vegetable garden from the south side. We have a huge, nice mammoth sunflower just coming up as well. I'm quite excited to see this uh, come up as well. It's the first year we're getting a size this substantially large. So back in our vegetable garden, the way we have divided um, this plot and trying to maximize the production is to ensure that um, we also get the pests under control and that's why we go for a polyculture um, to have a little bit less of that pressure from the bugs as well and to ensure that we have variety of food production. So what we see is in the in the bottom left corner we have the bok choy growing and we're also trying to intercrop with a little bit of the spinach 
and also some lettuce behind it and we do also have some lemongrass growing really well on the border of the plot and on the right side we have the shallots which are just flowering now and they have really nice uh, flowers coming up as well and within the shallots we are also intercropping some of the spinach which are doing quite well with the onions and the shallots and we also have the peppers right next to that and we have the peppers as well as the chilies growing next to it and behind that we have the turmeric and next to the turmeric we have the kankun which is a very delicious Indonesian vegetable that we like to occasionally cook as well and um, next to the kankun we have the ginger which are growing quite well and some of the marigolds as I said before it does wonders for pest control as well and behind that we have the eggplants we have about five nice plants coming up for eggplants and next to that we have the sunflower and some of the cucumbers on the border all around and the cucumbers are doing extremely well we also have the curry tree which is doing wonders this is the second year it has come up and it's growing extremely well next to that we also have um, some of the uh, well it's not quite out yet however some of the shoots have already started to come out for the okra which we love to cook as well especially for Indian cooking it's it's quite important for us and in the back we have um, some so one of the things that we have been quite successful at doing is really maximizing the boundary walls um, the natural walls that we have um, around our house and what we have done is we have put a bunch of climbers um, especially pumpkins that have done a great job climbing around these um, boundary around our house and what to, one of the practices that has worked really well for me is also creating some sort of raised beds around any of the trees um, that I could find um, and that's really trying to maximize the use of space and making sure that we can also ensure um, diversity of the plants around our house um, another really good practice that we've been using uh, is the use of sacks as you can see these sacks have worked out quite well I've had these sacks for um, more than three years and they have lasted me really well and these are not commercially made sacks you can just use um, simple plastic or fabric sacks uh, or plastic bags and cut them in half and it's a great way of recycling as well they last forever and all you do is they work as a raised bed as well without investing in um, expensive commercially made bags uh, as you can see what I've done is really put them around the boundary walls and they have done extremely well around that as well so on the front part of the house uh, what we have done is really split between the vegetable garden and the ornamentals that we have packed here towards the front part of the house we have a good mix of roses as well as a lot of petunia zinnias a um, bunch of hydrangea as well as you can see which have done really well in the shadow of the house and on the very front of the house we have a lot of lavender that have done extremely well with some roses and on the corner part of the house we have a nice mix of peppers and vegetables as well as uh, basil which is our little herb garden in the front of the garden we have uh, nice ornamental plants and that's how we have really split the garden up the front and the sides are usually used for the vegetables so in the front
part of the garden we have set up a lot of ornamentals a um, ton of roses lavenders um, and also a lot of hydrangeas as well and on the back part of the garden is the vegetable garden so in the front part of the garden we have set up a lot of ornamentals a um, ton of roses lavenders um, and also a lot of hydrangeas as well and on the back part of the garden is the vegetable garden so in the front part of our house what we have done is really uh, set up a nice herb garden here it's a herb square with a ton of basil and mint growing and we also will be planting a bit of thyme here as well and uh, there's also a bit of coriander here as well so i think we're going to be ending our first video um, on the garden tour here and we're going to be posting a lot of videos in the future and i hope you enjoyed this video please do hit the like and subscribe button um, on the next video we are going to be talking about seed saving techniques that we have been using uh, and give you a little bit of an example on how we have been doing it with plants like tomatoes so hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for future videos thanks a lot guys see ya